you want to see where we're storing our real valuables, right here. Let's we'll see what we've got. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's where the real valuables are being hidden, right here. guys, welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and today we are in my family room. This is not quite the tour that I was expecting to do. In fact, I was in the middle of kind of moving things around, getting this space ready for spring and now we all find ourselves basically at home without an end in sight anytime in the next few days for sure, probably a few weeks. So I didn't order anything new for this room. I just put everything on hold and I've just been thinking, oh, well, in a few weeks, I'll just go do this. And I'm like, spring is gonna be over by then. So I thought, I'm at home. What can I do with what I have on hand? So I've been moving some things around and just kind of playing around in this room. And I thought, well, this is a fun way of showing you guys just my own space. Having a room that's created for all seasons is, so important having a good base of items in your space that you can really just change out some of the smaller pieces and create a seasonal look that is what we are always aiming for it's almost like a capsule home and this idea that you have your baseline of things that you can kind of mix and match and create a new look without obviously buying a new sofa every single time you have a new season. So let's just take a peek around and let's see what we find and if there's anything interesting going on in here. So where do you guys wanna start? Okay, let's start right over here by the window because this is like my favorite place in my house. Okay, let's go over here first. So this little area is my favorite space because it's a little bit like a library. I realized when we moved into this house, first of all, I have lofty ideas of what I want for that wall behind me. I would love to have a huge bookcase, but I also don't want to just run out and buy something just to buy it. So in the meantime, I have this Ikea table that's sitting here. It's definitely nothing expensive. I just loaded this area up with just fun, interesting things. You guys know I love my little marble match stick holder and striker. Um, I found this really cool French footed planter. Now, see, this is one of those things that isn't done. I, I wanted to go out and buy a plant for this and I haven't been going out. So it's, it's a little bit unfinished here, but I think you guys will forgive me, right? Hopefully. This is one of my kids' favorite items. It's these glass hourglass, glass hourglass, yes. These hourglass sand timers. They're so cool and they come over and they touch these all the time. One of the keys that I want in my home more than anything else is a very tactile home that feels like something you're supposed to touch. You just want to touch everything. What the last time my sister-in-law was here, she said she just couldn't help herself. She just wanted to touch everything. And that made my day because that is exactly what I want, not only for my visitors, but for those of us living in our space. I want a home that lives with us, that it, it has things inside of it that we actually touch and use. Um, one of the other things I have here is this really fun little marble tic-tac-toe game and my son is always coming and rearranging we play tic-tac-toe together and I just think that stuff like that is what really makes your house feel like a home it makes it feel like it's not just decorated this is stuff that we actually use and um, this amazing plant from one of my very best friends she gave it to me while she was visiting from California Technically, she's a client. We've helped her buy a house and um, she'll be moving back soon. And But the family is like my best friends. I love them. They're amazing. And she gave me this so I could be reminded of her. And that is the exact effect that it's had on me. I think of her all the time. And, um, you know, as the little blooms get a little bit dried off, I just pull that off. And it's bloomed three times, if you can believe that. Shall we go over there? Let's go that way. Come on. As you can see, not everything is perfect and done in my house. I have these beautiful planters and it was my intention to put a beautiful tree or something. I would love an olive tree in here, but since I'm not going to the store at the moment, they've just been hanging out waiting for plants. 
I know that you guys love this French country style dresser because you've been writing me so much. I asked on my Instagram account, should I paint it or should I leave it wood? And there was a resounding, please leave it. I love the imperfections of my home. This is what I love so much. So this piece is most definitely imperfect. Shall we open this? Reveal all of our secrets? <laughs> For now, it's housing all of our games because our family, we are huge, I would not say gamers. <laughs> Back in the day, before all the electronics, that would have meant something different, but we love to play games as a family, so this entire thing is loaded up with games. It's got art supplies in here, there's paper. See, there's like crazy little things in here, and um, it's just all, little question games that we've talked about before that we really love. If you value quality time with your family, if you have kids at home or grandkids, or you're, you're there with your husband and you want something to entertain you during the times while you are stuck at home, I could not recommend these highly enough. These questions are amazing and there's tons of different boxes and themes that you can buy, but I think it, like this one, let me give you an example, okay? One of these questions was, what emergency information is in your phone? And we all just went, oh, none of us had any of that in there, except for Haley because she's the most mature in our house and we just had a good conversation about how we needed to fix that, and we did. Um, one of the other ones that's way more fun was, what's the best snack you've had at a friend's house? What's the best snack that you've had at your friend's house? When I think about that, I'm like, ooh, what would I answer? Hmm, I always like when my friends serve me cake. That's always fun. Cake and coffee, I'm always in for that. <laughs> now, I've got abstract artwork that I've made myself. I've got some videos back in our video library if you wanna check that out that shows you how to make your own. And then we just got like a fun mix of just things that we just really love. It's pictures of our kids. We've got some amazing African carvings. I'm obsessed with these African carvings. I love them so much. And some of these books, amazingly, I found at Goodwill. You guys are, have been asking me about this lamp. Now, this is another one of the DIYs that I posted way back, and it's just some really cool fabric, and um, I'll put a link to that as well so you can see how I made this DIY lamp. Maybe you have some fabric sitting around your house and a lamp that needs some work, and now you have the time to do it. Isn't that great? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd rather go out, but let's not talk about that. Let's go over this way instead. Now on this side of the family room, you guys know I love having a power statement. This is the thing that you see the minute you walk in the front door. This huge two-story black fireplace. And one day I'd love to have a beautiful French mirror up there, but for now we have those DIY birds, which I have shown you in one of the past videos if you're interested in making your own. I love the way that we've balanced the black and the white. It's a little bit of yin and yang in this space, and instead of doing really heavy pillows, which I definitely had during the winter, I really lightened the fabrics. I've used cottons and linen, and I have actually stuck in a little bit of velvet. This one, which is so lacy and so beautiful. And this is one of their, this is one of Pottery Barn's past collections, which can only be found on eBay now. So I did bring in a little bit of this aqua color. I brought in some blues. I found some pillows that I already had on hand. I just kind of mixed it all together to make it just feel more light and airy. I have this gorgeous base that's from Pottery Barn, and it's just the pottery feeling of it. I loved the texture. I love just the, the shape of it. It just felt very French, but still modern for me as well. And I just really liked that. That's why I think you should really focus on that capsule home. The idea that the things that you buy really can live and breathe with the seasons. This vase is going to look amazing in the winter with some evergreens in it. And it will look great during the summer with whatever is blooming. And then the key after that is to just 
switch out the accessories that are around it. I love having a book here. This is one of my favorite things because having a book here means that I can just turn the page and the artwork in the room is instantaneously changed. I absolutely love our dark fireplace. I love this limestone that we put in. When we first bought our house, this space was pink marble. It was very dingy feeling to me. It just didn't feel very invigorating. And so painting it black has been incredible. But I wanted to bring warmth into this space as well. And I've done that with these awesome baskets. You are not gonna believe. These are from Target. Are they not just so cool? I, I love to combine things that feel like they really shouldn't go together. I mean, I've got a, <laughs> a picture from Denmark that I found at a flea market. Um, it's of the King's Castle and I think that's so cool because that's so personal to me. But I've mixed it with abstract artwork, very modern lamp, uh, a cool paperweight, an Eiffel Tower, and a smooth base. I mean, we've even got a strong herringbone in here and an African bust. So what is it that makes these things go together? The thing that makes them go together is that they're, they're me. They're, they're things that matter to me. And as you create your own spaces, I think that's what you should do, is gather things together that you really love. We've put all of that on the sister piece to the other brown one that I have not painted. This is what it looks like painted. This came from the same estate sale that I bought the other one. And this one is way less organized than the other one. But you know what we use this for? We use it for things like um, band-aids. I know, and it's really intriguing, isn't it? And we've got medications in here. And it's a practical piece. Things can be practical and beautiful at the same time. I, I love that. I love that it can feel like this. I've even got my garden clippers in here. So um, other drawers, yeah, if you, wanna, if you wanna see where we're storing our real valuables, shh, right here. You wanna see what we got? Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's where the real valuables are being hidden, right here. Yeah, you show up when there's cookies involved in coffee. Would you like some coffee? Well, the hottest girl I know. <laughs> Chocolate covered almonds and coffee. My three favorite things in the world. And I made a lavender latte. Whoa. Would you like to have some? Yes. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, so lavender lavender lattes are one of our favorite things that are a little bit of a splurge, but you know, when you're stuck at home. I got some honey. Lavender lattes are one of our favorite things to make anyways, but yeah. especially right now, we're so into this French thing. Like, we're obsessed. I know. We're obsessed. And even though we literally can't leave the house, it's so nice being able to have just a little piece of that I here. I know, it feels like you get to like literally just sip French countryside. <laughs> Minus the dirt. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I do love that. But I love the feeling that you can bring these sort of things into your home and have this kind of... That's one of the things I don't, I don't know if I could ever communicate enough to you is how much I love that you bring pieces of everywhere we've ever been and everywhere we ever want to go into our house. Yeah. I can't tell you thank you enough for that. Oh, that's sweet. I mean, not only are you like <laughs> drop dead gorgeous, but Stop. <laughs> just talk amongst yourselves. I'll be right back. Uh, this is not gonna go in a good direction for me. <laughs> but not only are you are you beautiful, but you do these things. Like this house, this room, I love sitting in this room. Because it reminds me of places we've been, it reminds me of you know, the different books. The table over there reminds me of New York, because that shop, John Darien. Yes, yeah, so I was yeah. talking about the John Darien book. So oh yeah. my gosh, I love it. So there you go, you can see, we, we share this. This is, this, this is the thing, is that when you have a home that you share with somebody, you get to display your passions, the things that really spark something inside of you when you see them. Yeah. It makes your heart flip flop, and. And you just know that moment, that's your style, that's you. That's, that's what you should put inside of your home. Are the things that just, oh my gosh, you're like, oh, I just love this so much, I've gotta have it. I think the obsession with having to have overly decorated spaces is probably the number one thing that I've learned from French design. They don't do it. No, nothing about French is overdone. Yeah. The gardens, the, the hair, I love the French hair. I just love, there's, 
it's very intentional and it's sexy and it's refined, but it's never perfect. Yeah, they're, they're just like, no, we, overly perfect is unattainable. I hope that you've enjoyed today's tour and that you've found a little nugget of inspiration out of it that'll help you as you decorate your own home for spring. Visit us at Instagram if you're not following us there already. I've got the two accounts, the Valentina Fussell, uh, it's actually Valentina Fussell, and the House of Valentina. If you wanna follow those two accounts, we update those sometimes hourly, pretty often every day. So if you wanna stay in touch that way, we'd love to see you there. And also please hit subscribe and share these videos with your family and friends because that's how it helps us to grow the channel and it helps us to find like-minded people. I, that's what I love so much is that usually if you love it, then someone you know is gonna love it and then we get this amazing group of all of us together just geeking out over French country modern stuff and it's just fun. And how cute your husband is. Okay, right. we'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> you had to include that. <laughs> yeah. Having an amazing base in your home is how you create rooms that just work for all seasons. And <laughs> Louie, what you doing? What you doing, Louie? What you doing back there? You looking out the window? <laughs>